the beach. Hopefully there's enough light there, maybe. Is there enough light? Yeah. And you'll walk on this when you're down the beach. But it's actually built up of these little calcium tubes. I'll bring it up closer. Can you see? See, it's built up of calcium tubes. I should turn it sideways. Calcium tubes. And inside them lives a little creature or like a worm. And it has little gills. Now it lives in the intertidal zone, which means that it can. Is that a bit louder? It means that it can um, it can survive in the water and outside of the water, so it's pretty hardy. But the temperature can kill it. Now, to getting them out is hard. In the book, it says to crack it open a bit and then try and pull them out. But you know what happens? You pull them in half, like breaking a worm in half. So what you're going to try and do is. First of all, you'll need another chest, another little one of these with some water in it. No, see that in my life. Just use some of the water it came with, rather than fresh water, because they're used to sea water. So we better use the water that they live in, otherwise we might kill them too. So have some of that handy. What you're going to try and do is break open sections of it. I'll, it's probably easy just to break off a large chunk like that. Did you see that? And then try and break these little tubes open carefully. Crack them um, just with some tweezers. Can you see what I'm doing there? And you'll see there's a little wormy thing that lives inside. Yep. And you can pop that in some water. Whoa. So you see that? Yeah. In the water? Why isn't that moving? And you'll see the gills of the large... You can just see that there. Nah. Yeah, it's quite long. Now you're looking for a male and a female. I can tell right now, the I can't remember which, but one of them, when when you take it out and sort of squeeze it a bit, or like this, if you look carefully in the light, I'll bring it over here. It's all right. I'll bring it over. That's gross. When you squeeze it, um, it red stuff comes out. And I think that's the male. Now, the, the one, the opposite, doesn't have the red. Right. Now, what you do is you get a couple of samples and we get some pipettes. Pipettes. And we just suck up the, whatever comes out of them, the, the sperm and the egg. And we put them together. And hopefully we'll be able to see some fertilisation. Now, I have some photographs from last year that I'll load up to show you what you're looking for. Uh, and then you'll know what the sperm and egg will look like. You'll need to use... The high-powered microscope. So, if you could grab those microscopes out and bring them in, you'll need to set a couple of those up to do it. Once you, maybe we'll set three up at the back. They should be on a trolley just in there to the right. And we'll try and get some observations of what the sperm and eggs look like. I do have photos from last year. We we can. Yeah. Hey, which one's female? This is male too. Oh yeah, rest of. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, it's recording now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Let's just kill them anyway.